So y'all know I've been training Persuasion for two months now. This is her quick six week transformation, how we did everything and how you can start doing it for free today. So long story short, every time she comes to me, she knows I'm making her ass hop on the Stairmaster for a minimum 10 minutes. The first week was kind of rough. She was fundamentally weak. Now Persuasion is naturally an athlete, so this was weird for me to see her like this. Week two, we can already see the gains coming in. I'm making her use more weight. We're doing a little bit more outside, more active. Week three, now I'm starting to see like, okay, the body is looking more proportionate. You know what I mean? It's giving what it's supposed to give. She was still getting adjusted. Week four, y'all, that's when I was like, okay, my girl is getting thick. And she even noticed it too. Like everything was just giving what it's supposed to give. Look at them thighs. Now week five, now look, the ass is higher. The Everything is just looking how it's supposed to look, y'all. Week six took me out. This took me out because look at that body. Look at that booty. Like look at those thighs. Like it's literally giving more than it's ever given before so stay tuned tap the link on my page join my bbo challenge today nah this right here is crazy first of all this bbl look crazy her legs don't match this shit look wild and then this is what's crazy about all this a woman will go pay for a bbl then work out but before she got the bbl she never saw a gym but she will go pay for a BBL, then all of a sudden work out and think her body is going to shape properly after she works out with the BBL. Bro, <laughs> this is crazy, fam. These women are comfortable living in delusion. This shit looks crazy. It don't matter how many weeks you work out, like whatever different workout you trying to do. It's not going to work. It's clear as day that it's a BBL, but hey. Fellas, it just shows, bro, you can't do nothing with a woman like this. <laughs> you really, because this is a woman who's living in delusion. Like, this is crazy. Fellas, be wise out here, man, and keep away from these low-hanging fruits. Facts. For me, like, when I ask a guy, like, what is he passionate about? Like, sometimes it's like going to the gym, and I'm like, mm, okay. Yeah, like, <laughs> anything else? Yeah, I'm like, okay, well, you know what? I don't think that you're for me, but maybe I have a friend for you. you know? Like, you're so cute. You're so cute before you start talking. Oh. Some people really pride themselves in going to the gym. Like, we'll see it. We'll know if you go. Like, yeah. what else do you do? Look, here's the reality. If a woman don't understand why a man is passionate about going to the gym, she's just not the woman for that man. Because a man going to the gym tells everything about who he is. Because if a man is disciplined enough to go to the gym, it shows that he's disciplined enough to take care of anything in life. But if a woman is not smart enough, she's not gonna understand that. She's gonna look at going to the gym as something as simple as just oh he just want to work out he just want to be in shape but she don't understand the all-round benefit of a man in the gym and fellas when a woman don't understand that it just means that she's low vibrational and once you tap into that mode that real gym mode where it's like you start seeing results and it start helping you mentally as a man you got to be around good positive energy you don't want to be around a woman like this, all right? So that's just the bottom line, fellas. A chick like this is just not the right chick for you when you're on your self-improvement journey. And if you're with a chick who just don't understand the journey, you got to leave her alone because she's going to hold you back. Facts. What's your name? Teddy. So you got a girlfriend, Teddy? Yeah, I do. Where's she at right now? Oh, she's down in Florida. She's getting ready to move in, yeah. Hey, so you're all the way out in Jersey, and she's going to FSU. Yeah, I'm going to Rutgers this year, so. Damn, bro. So you're, that's like long distance. like. Yeah, it's. I'm going to miss her, but I, how long you guys been dating? We've been dating since sophomore year in high school, yeah. So how long is that? Like a couple years? Yeah, three years. Three years? Yeah. Damn, bro. I mean, I was going to ask you if you're down to see if she's on any dating apps right now. Oh, I'm down. We could use Cheater Buster AI right now, and it's going to show her if she's on any dating apps. All right, bet. You down to check? Yeah. I bet. I'm going to just need a couple of uh, info from you real fast. What's her name? Uh, Stephanie. And uh, how old is she? She's 19. Where's she from? She's from uh, PA. 
Oh, so Pennsylvania? Yeah. Damn, okay. So she's, she's a world traveler, bro. Yeah, I know. But uh, you just got like a picture of her, like yeah, I could just pull up so yeah. the AI could detect it? I'll send it to you. I bet, bet, bet. Yeah, if you want to just uh, airdrop me real fast. Yeah, you got it. All right, so yeah, now it's just, the AI is about to detect it, but uh, it's about to uh, load I real think, fast. I think she's loyal. I think she's loyal. I think we're You think she's loyal, bro? I think I'm You don't think she's on any dating apps? No, 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 I don't think she's on them. I mean, we're about to find out right now, low key, but yo, is this, is this her? Are you dead ass, bro? Are you serious? What the f Wait, is this, this is her though? Like, yeah, that is her. What the fuck? Are you f joking? Are you kidding me? Is this fake? No, like it actually it, it uses the AI to like detect like it shows like all her pictures and stuff. Get this shit out of here, bro. This oh, is like actually her. Bro, what yo, what? Oh, bro, like, that, that's her Tinder. She's on Bumble too. Who the f uses Bumble? Bro, this is crazy, bro. Damn, bro. It says she was on here a week ago. Like, bro, she's three months pregnant. Wait, what? No way. I told you about forever, bro. <laughs> Damn, bro, you good? Like... <laughs> Yo, whoever this chick boyfriend is, just know you got you one, son. This is how a woman is supposed to keep it when she's a respectable woman. She just curved Usher. And I get it. As a man, bro, you gotta try it. Sometimes you have to try it. Like, you gotta see how a woman is built. You gotta see what she's about. Now, if this chick got a boyfriend, you got to respect the way she conducted herself because a bird wouldn't turn down Usher because whoever her boyfriend is, he's not as big as Usher. But the fact that she respect her boyfriend's what? Well, listen, I don't even know if she got a boyfriend, but let's be real. Somebody is cracking that. Whoever that dude is, salute. You see what I'm saying? Like your chick held you down salutes you fellas this is how your girl is supposed to act under pressure because all this shit was this was a test this was usher applying pressure to see what she's about to see if she's gonna go and she respectfully declined salute hey what's going on here hold it you chasing me away oh no 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 so soon not at all Come on. If you haven't yet, go get you some of that merch. You all already know, don't feed the birds. That's what it is. We don't feed the birds over here. So if you rock with your boy, go get you some of that good merch.